Hey guys, Chad Wesley Smith here for Juggernaut Train Systems and JTSStrength.com. Just answering some questions that we got through Facebook. Make sure you uh, head over, like the Juggernaut Train Systems page on Facebook. Uh, take advantage of our weekly live Q&As with Team Juggernaut on there. Ask me questions, so I'll either answer them right there on the page, um, do a little video like this for it, or if it's a really good question, maybe it turns into an article. Uh, this question is for Casey Smith. Um, Casey asks, which is better, box squats or regular squats? Or does it matter? Um, and, you know, this is a, a very widely debated topic. Um, for the competitive lifter, yes, I think it definitely matters. I think the free squat has way, way more carryover. You know, if, if you want to be a good squatter in, in competition where there's no box, you need to squat with no box in training. Um, so, you know, for, for power lifter, free squats, that's my advice all the time. Your, your main movement has to be the free squat. Uh, is there a place for the box squat as a supplemental move? Most definitely. Um, but the majority of your training you know, needs to be based around the free squat because that's what you're going to do in competition. Um, too many people become reliant on the, on the box. For an athlete, though, totally different issue. I don't think it really matters at all um, between free squats and, and box squats or front squats or deadlifts or safety squat bar squats, you know, there is, there's no squat rack on the field of competition, you know, in anything besides powerlifting, so you want to pick something that, that you or your athletes can perform safely, you know, with good technique, and that they can create a uh, good output on, so something that they're good at, um, you know, we, I usually rotate my athletes between back squats, or just squats, as they're also known, box squats and front squats. Um, <clears throat> but if you have an athlete, you know, with certain leverages, I got an athlete last year, he had a very, very long upper arm, and it made it really hard for him to to rack a front squat in a, in a clean position. Um, so, you know, even though he was going to have to, he, he has to do cleans at his college, um, and tons of front squats, which I, I haven't really talked to him about how that's going for him so far, but, uh, you know, he didn't, he didn't front squat with me. He didn't clean with me because, you know, he just wasn't biomechanically set up to do that. Um, so that it just made those bad lifts for him. And it's not like he has to be a good front squatter or has to be a good power cleaner to be a good football player. You know, th those aren't mutually exclusive. So, you know, for the lift, for a competitive lifter, yes, it definitely matters. I think the free squat, just squat, is much better. But for the athlete, I don't think it really matters. They just need to be, be able to do it safely and be good at it. And that will be a good exercise for them.